Hello everyone, Bhavya on side from JN Tech Networks. So today we are going to see the course content of data science and the course content of machine learning. Okay, so inside data science, we have around 14 modules, 14 to 15 modules. And in machine learning, we have around seven modules. Okay, so we will, we will discuss it one by one. So before moving further, I want to discuss like uh, what is the difference in data science, in machine learning, in neural networks, deep learning, and artificial intelligence? As there is a lot of confusion, like uh, what is machine learning? Do we need to study machine learning for studying data science or for starting the career in the data science? Okay, so, and uh, like, uh, do we need to study neural networks and deep learning for data science? Or if you want to become a machine learning expert, do we need to study like uh, DL and NN? Okay, so we will see this. So we have data streams. And then we have machine learning. And then we have neural networks. Okay, then we have deep learning. And then last we have artificial intelligence. Yeah, so first we have data science. So data science means it is a concept basically which involves lots of tools and techniques to analyze the data and uh, to extract meaningful insights from it. We use lots of uh, statistical methods, we use scientific methods and processes and algorithms to make this happen. Okay, so basically data science, uh, the goal of the data science is to help business to improve their businesses or improve their profit and growth by finding the hidden patterns from the raw data. Okay, so what is raw data now? Okay, the raw data can contain duplicates value. They can contain like repeated values and they can contain like missing values. Okay. So raw data, like uh, we gather data from the internet or from the various sources. So that data, the raw data contain the sometimes duplicate values, sometimes they contain missing values. Okay, so we have to first prepare the data for the cleaning and then we have to clean the data. Cleaning the data means we are just removing the duplicates value and then we are just filling the missing values. Okay, this is and then after cleaning the data, we are just used for analyzing purpose. We are just analyzing the data. After analyzing, we have data visualization. And then we have dashboard visualization. So they both are different. So data visualization means you are representing your clean data in the form of pie charts, in the form of bar graphs, or in the form of heat maps. Okay. So in the form of bar graphs, heat maps, and pie charts and etc. Okay, yeah, like you are representing a clean data, your data set in the form of bar graphs, heat maps and pie charts. Then we have the dashboard visualization. So in the dashboard visualization, you are preparing a particular dashboard. Inside that dashboard, you are implementing your bar graphs, heat maps and pie charts. Okay, and representing to your company. So we can use make use of Streamlit, that is the library of Python, and then we can use Power BI, which is represented or developed by Microsoft, and then we can also use Tableau. Like we have many applications and libraries for dashboard visualization. Now it is not important for studying like dashboard visualization for becoming a data scientist. You can learn the data visualization after learning the data science, but it is also in demand. Okay, like you are representing the analyst data in the form of dashboard, which will, which will be very helpful for the company. Okay, so we use basically two programming languages. We use two programming languages. That is either Python or R. 
okay so python means in the python basically python is very popular and it, that is why it is in trend so in the python we have like uh, multiple libraries we have numpy this is for data science okay numpy we have pandas we have matplotlib then seaborn then we have kafflings and plot okay so these are the libraries inside python which is very helpful or which is used for data science data cleaning and data preparing okay numpy and pandas are used for data cleaning for the whole data cleaning process or for preparing your data and matplotlib seaborn and these four libraries kafflings and plotty are used for data visualization and streamlit is also a python library which is used for data visualization and we have many more libraries okay so basically we will going to use python for the for this course okay so now we have machine learning so basically machine learning it is a subset of ai now what is ai ai is a superset of ml okay and neural networks it is a subset of ai oh, sorry ml and deep learning it is a subset of nl and neural networks they are the superset of dl deep learning so what is artificial intelligence it is a technique or it is also a concept of mimicking the human behavior okay so it is like mimicking the human behavior then we have the machine learning it contains many algorithms okay so it contains algorithms which we are going to use inside data science now whenever you are using machine learning algorithms inside data science then you can become a data scientist okay so first we are the data scientist and second we are the data analyst so data analyst is like uh, the task and duties are like uh, data gathering and data preparing and data cleaning and then data analyzing when you are implementing the algorithms of the machine learning inside data science then you can become a data scientist okay so there is a difference like so it is not compulsory to learn the machine learning alg algorithms for to becoming a data analyst you can become a data analyst just by studying data science but if you want to become a data scientist then you have to learn machine learning too okay so we have the algorithms which we are going to apply in the data set of the data science means of the clean data set now clean data set means like that uh, that you have cleaned with the help of numpy pandas okay now why we apply the algorithms because to define the accuracy of your data okay so basically to define the accuracy of the data for the prediction okay like uh, what will happen after 5 years like the prediction you are doing with the help of uh, with the algorithms now we apply many algorithms in the data science in the in the data set because like to define the accuracy and which will whichever the algorithm gives the best accuracy we will implement or we will deploy it at algorithms okay that is machine learning where we apply the algorithms inside data science then we have the neural networks now machine learning it is a like a subset of ai so we can say that it is a subset of ai okay so which are, which uh, which uses statistical methods to enable machines to improve with experiences so we feed the data to the algorithms and every time it gives the accuracy so different algorithms uses for different different data sets then we have the neural networks neural networks it is a subset of ml but superset of dl which is deep learning subset means which is above something and superset 
sorry subset means which is below something and superset means which is above something so neural networks are above deep learning and uh, deep learning is below superset sorry below neural networks okay so basically neural networks it is a like a subset of ml which is inspired by the human brain which is inspired by the human brain because human brain contains neurons and uh, neural networks contain units in the form of neurons only okay which is connected in one layer and uh, it is used to learn the relationship between the inputs and the outputs so it is used basically it is connected in one layer and is used to define the relationship between inputs and the outputs okay and whatever is running behind input and outputs that are deep learning which is a subset of ml neural networks okay like how inputs and outputs are connected how we get get the output with the help of the input so this is all deep learning then we have the artificial intelligence which is a sub superset of ml which is like mimicking the human behavior okay so we we can say that we we are following the in hierarchy like ai first then we have the ml then we have the nn and then we have the dl artificial intelligence then machine learning and then we have nn neural networks then we have dl so dl is the subset of nn nn is the subset of ml and ml is the subset of ai same as ai is the superset of ml ml is the superset of nn neural networks and neural networks is the superset of dl and we are and we have the data science so data science is completely a individual field you can go for the data science you can start your career for uh, in the data science without using these four terms okay like without studying these four but if you want to become a data scientist then you can go for machine learning okay now for learning the machine learning you uh, you have to understand the algorithms okay that we will see in the machine learning course like how the algorithms are working in the back end okay in the background etc that we will see so this is like the basic difference in these terms like uh, data science machine learning deep learning artificial intelligence neural networks okay now let's discuss the course content of uh, data science so first we have we have around 15 modules first we have intro part of data science in the module 1 okay what is data science okay what are like how to become a data scientist like uh, and uh, what is data analyst etc we will see in this module module second contain environment setup so for the for this course we will do we will prepare the data we will clean the data with the help of python libraries python and python libraries for the python libraries for the as a ide of python we will use jupyter notebook okay so in the module 2 we will see what is jupyter notebook in the module 3 basically how to in the module 2 we will see how to set up the environment for coding okay for like for all the data science process so we will see how to install python how to install the jupyter etc in the module 3 we will get familiar with the jupyter like we will see the interface of the jupyter how to install it how to create a file how to run a file etc then we have module 4 python crash course so basically it is very important to know about python to know the basics of the python for get starting in the data science so if you want to learn python core and python advanced so you can go for this core python course and this advanced python course by jntech okay now for the module 4 we will do some python basics okay we will learn some python basics like uh, the python fundamentals
and we will see python data types okay and variables control flow in the control flow we will see conditionals like if else elif etc then we see loops we have while loop and then for loop okay then we will see the functions modules and packages as well as the try and accept block which is used for exceptional handling okay so these are the basics of python that we are going to discuss in the data science course because because the basics of python are very very important then we have module 5 numpy where we are going to use now here comes the python libraries which are very useful for data science we have numpy we have pandas okay for the data uh, for for performing the mathematical operations we have numpy okay here we will see how to what is numpy intro of numpy and then numpy arrays okay like how to perform the operations with the help of numpy like uh, we will use numpy for missing values okay we will use to fill the missing values with the help of numpy like sometimes we have a missing values in the data set then we will fill the value with the help of uh, mean median and mode okay so we will see that and then numpy array numpy indexing slicing etc and then we will see some solutions and exercises then we have pandas so pandas first we will see the basics of pandas like series data frames missing data margin data group by or concatenations operations data output and input then we will see data pandas exercise now pandas are used for data cleaning okay they are the main reason they are the main like this is the main library which is used for data cleaning okay like to remove duplicates value to fill the missing values etc we will use pandas then we will see the exercises of pandas okay after that we have module 8 matplotlib matplotlib cvon plotty and kafins these are used for data visualization okay then we will see data matplotlib cvon is very powerful more powerful than matplotlib so we will see both first uh, first the basics of matplotlib the overview of the solutions the exercises and then the cvon in the cvon we will see in the matplotlib and cvon as a whole we will see like uh, how to create bar graphs how to create pie charts heat maps how to implement your data set how to convert your data set into the graphical representation etc we will see this okay like grids matrix etc regression style and color how to change the color of a graph pie charts okay etc then we have again the pandas solution and that pandas with data visualization like how to implement your pandas data set the clean data set that is cleaned by pandas how to use it in the data visualization then we have plotty and kafins so plotty is also a library of python which is also used for data visualization in that plotty is used for creating the charts and kafins is used for connecting a plotty with pandas okay so we will see how to connect your plotty with pandas with the help of kafins and how to create the charts with the help of plotty okay then we have module 12 geographical plotting we will see in this like how to represent your data in the geographical format in the map format okay then we have data capstone project last that is after all of these modules we will do some projects which is very important okay so projects are very important in this project we will do around 2 to 3 projects we will see the 911 911 calls project and then we will see the finance project and then bank data etc 
so we will do around two to three real life projects so that we can get an overview like how to implement how to do a project in a company or how to implement these skills that you have learned so far in the project okay like how we will see how to implement these in the projects then we have machine learning and so here module 14 and 15 we have some part of machine learning like we will give you the intro part of machine learning like what is machine learning what is the categories of machine learning algorithms okay and one algorithm that is linear regression okay so we will discuss it so this is all about the data science course content then we have the machine learning course content inside this we have around seven modules so in the machine learning course content we will discuss about first module we have what is machine learning requirements and software installation of machine learning and then the sub important python library difference in ds dl and ml and then we will discuss applications of ml types of ml algorithms difference and then life cycle and then assignments okay after that we will discuss algorithms which is very important like second model we have recreation which is supervised learning then classification which is which is of supervised learning so we have three types of algorithms in the machine learning we have supervised we have unsupervised and then we have reinforcement in the supervised we provide sample labeled data okay and in the unsupervised we provide unlabeled data unlabeled data and reinforcement work on the basis of feedback mechanism so in the supervised we have two categories like reading that is regression and then classification okay we have the regression and then the classification in the unsupervised we have association and then we have clustering okay so regression works with the values and classification works with the categories same as with the unsupervised we have two categories and then after that we will see the reinforcement algorithms so for the supervised we have these algorithms like uh, in the regression we have linear regression logistic polynomial stepwise rigid lasso and elastic then in the classification algorithm we have logistic device k nearest and super support so it support vector mechanisms then in the ensemble we have decision trees classification of regression boosted trees bagging and random forest then in the clustering we have the k means hierarchical and the difference in both and then the applications you will see each and every algorithms in detail in the in the in the sessions and then we will see how these algorithms are working in the background okay so in the association we have these algorithms so this is the course content of the machine learning okay so we will see in detail each and every algorithm like how they are running in the background etc we will see so this is all about the machine learning course concept